Hey guys, it's the Fit Channel again, and I'd like to continue the Cetus Hero series with the very basics that you all love. Today, I'll tell you about the two pillars on which the entire Cetus Heroes economy stands, Cetus and Senate tokens. The metaverse is only developing and many key things that I'll be discussing are not yet available. So developers promise the variety of use cases and we're about to discuss them. So without any delays, let's roll that. Before things get serious, I'd like to ask you to drop some likes under this video and subscribe to the DFE channel, of course. So thanks for that, you guys, you're awesome. And let's continue with this video. Okay, so Cetus Heroes consists of two tokens that construct the whole game economic system. The project's main tokens you all know pretty well, it's Cetus and Senate. Stuffing your pockets with Cetus and Senate tokens might be a wise decision, but if you hold them for some time, of course. Well, judge yourself, when both tokens were just issuable all over the place on multiple exchanges, they grew around 100x times. Well, of course, now the price uh, sunk by like 90%, you know the reasons why, but the project is still alive and is developing faster than ever before. Who knows, but maybe one day, Cetus and Senate, both tokens will repeat their rally and recover, Finally, I'm pretty sure about that. But let's take the basic info about tokens before taking a closer look, shall we? Okay, Cetus is the in-game token in which rewards are paid out and it is the main currency used in the marketplace and for other in-game services. Senet is the governance token and it is mainly used to express political views and to influence the metaverse development. Both tokens are traded on top DEXs like Uniswap and also CEXs like Gate.io and Bitfinex. So you can easily find them on decentralized and centralized exchanges as you see. But how you can use them and what ensures their value? Well, let's take a closer look. Of course, it will take a longer explanation. So prepare to listen. Okay, so Cetus is the lifeblood of Cetus Heroes. You know that. It is the in-game token and has multiple use cases like investing in module construction, buying items, earning it in battles, paying for in-game services, and much more. One of the latest use cases for Cetus is the staking module. Here players can not only multiply their tokens, but get valuable and rare rewards on top. Cetus is the primary means of getting your hands on in-game resources like gear, tools, weapons, and other consumables. In addition to these use cases, Cetus is useful for traveling around the metaverse. You'll be able to pay the fare and to travel to the station or planet using this currency. Of course, this part is not implemented yet, but it's what developers promise us to do. At this moment, the primary way to earn Cetus tokens inside the game is by opening loot boxes. Another way is royalties from module construction. The bigger your share is, the more Cetus you will get from every transaction inside a particular module. Of course, soon you'll be able to earn money by renting out your heroes. So we're all expecting that. All in all, Cetus is a versatile tool with many use cases inside the game. But how useful is it outside? Do not forget that any coin is primarily a valuable asset and Cetus is no exception, of course. At its peak, the price of the coin reached 20 cents, which is 120 times higher than the market entry price. Although the price has since fallen considerably, well, the developers are making efforts to ensure its growth. Despite the difficulties, the team strategy is remained the same. So it includes listing on top exchanges, deflationary mechanism, and attracting new users and players to the game. Cetus token is traded on decentralized and centralized exchanges, namely Uniswap, Dextools, Get.io, SNX, Bybit, and finally Bitfinex. So to buy Cetus, you just need a MetaMask wallet and access to any of these DEXs that are on the list. In addition to trading, Cetus will be used by the DAO. And of course, you need to pay registration fees. You can influence elections and participate in the voting process itself. So let's talk about the Senate token. The Senate token is used by the game's internal mechanics as a governance token and serves as in-game currency for certain products. 
Of course, so far, there are very, very few use cases for this Senate token, but this should change in the future, obviously. Users who hold Senate tokens will be able to like create factions and manage them throughout the voting system. And of course, the major thing, take part in the project's level voting and steer the game development process. Isn't that cool? Of course, you'll be able to purchase game assets such as space shuttlers, space stations, modules, lamp plots, which is not possible with just Cetus tokens. And of course, finally, you'll be able to stake these Senate tokens for rewards. Just imagine buying your first space shuttle. What a cool opportunity, I think. The project's governance remains one of the key features of the Senate token. So voting power is proportionate to the number of the Senate tokens each user has. One of the new Senate use cases uh, that were recently added to the game is the opportunity to invest in the module construction. So it is like a legal way to become the co-owner of the entire Cetus Heroes metaverse. The role of Senate tokens in the Cetus Heroes political structure deserves our special attention. You'll not be able to achieve a high position in the political hierarchy if you just don't have any Senate tokens. They are used in all stages of the decision-making process and of course the election. So make sure you have some Senate tokens in your pockets. And by the way, I'm about to tell you how you can do this, so follow me. Just like with Cetus, the Senate token is traded on the variety of exchanges, including Uniswap and of course Bitfinex. Since the main purpose of Senate is serve the governance function, it is widely used outside of the game in the Cetus Heroes political system. The Senate's maximum price reached $5.85, which is pretty much solid, I think. But now the both Cetus and Senate tokens have fallen in value, so is it worth holding them after all? So let's try answering that question. Despite the drop down in price, Cetus Heroes tokens are traded well above the original prices. It is very important to understand the project's tokenomics and the developers' plans to increase the price. Cetus Heroes native project tokens were listed on the largest trading platforms, including Bitfinex. Just to remind you guys, it has become the fourth ranking platform for open coin trading significantly increasing the number of potential Cetus Heroes project users and the liquidity of native tokens. Cetus Heroes currency is also required to pay for internal services and platform fees. It is important to note that deflationary processes are also in effect, creating positive pressure on the demand for both in-game tokens. These are not single events, but part of the overall strategy for the development of Cetus and Senate tokens. Another quick reminder for you guys. So before entering the market, the project attracted the attention of the entire crypto community, I say, and now the team is actively developing it. Of course, if stable development continues, we can expect the growth of Cetus Heroes and like everything related to the game just to be explosive. I listed a very few facts, but it's up to you in the end to decide whether to hold Cetus and Senate tokens. But for you hodlers, let's find out how to onboard tokens into the game. First things first, you will need to have some tokens in your MetaMask wallet. I've already said that both tokens can be bought on multiple exchanges. So let me show you how you can do this on the example of Cetus and Uniswap. First thing, go to official Uniswap webpage, which is app.uniswap.org. Choose the token you want to swap for Cetus, for instance, ETH or USDT and etc. Find Cetus in the list of tokens. Then import and click confirm. After that, enter the amount of Cetus you wish to buy and press swap. And finally, confirm the transaction. Once it will be approved, Cetus tokens will appear in your wallet. So we can move to the next step. Log into the game and then click on plus sign in the upper right corner. Choose Cetus and click deposit. Specify the amount and press deposit. And now you will need to confirm the transactions and basically, that's it. Note also that you can find links to all the exchanges for both tokens. Tokens will be credited to your account approximately in just a minute. So the next step is basically up to you. Okay guys, so that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and have a clear understanding now of both Cetus and Senate tokens. Of course, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to support my efforts. And of course, don't forget to activate that bell button. So, as always, the Feed Channel was with you. See you in the next episodes.